with Black Panther, it was different. Um, I felt like I had already won. And so the nomination was like a, a portal to my um, really feeling that I was bringing the culture with me. And we were getting a chance to, you know, shout to the world that, you know, this is truth. This is Africa. This is what my whole career um, has built up to. Spike Lee, thank you for my start. I hope this makes you proud. Marvel may have created the first black superhero, but through costume design, we turned him into an African king. And so there, there was a sense already that I was a winner, just because of the way that the film was embraced when it came out. But there's something about the fanciful that runs through your work, that being able to realize it on that scale, getting to work on those comic book movies, the idea of getting some psychological detail in the costume, creating a world must have been, I think, or at least I wonder if it was especially exciting for you. It was especially exciting. I'm working with some very special directors. Um, when I think about Spike Lee and his understanding of where he wanted us to land with Do the Right Thing, he was very conscious there was purpose uh, in the work. And he let us all know that we all had a purpose here. And working with Ryan Coogler is similar in that way, that is so strong in, in where he's wanting this uh, visual story to land. Our genius director, Ryan Coogler. You are a guiding force. Thank you for your trust in understanding my role in telling the African-American story. You can't help but be excited and want to um, join hands and create a purpose for yourself as in, in your art. So the Okavango Triangle or the, the, the details, the choice of fabrics, the composition, all of that creates the spirit of where we all want people to land when they watch it, where we want the spirit of the film to go.